Here's my short review of MacBook Air M1 chip, Apple Silicon edition for developers and for graphic designers. I bought this one turbo version and I thought it's the only reasonable option you, sh you should choose if you're a developer or a designer because apart of basic usage, it takes huge amount of memory and space, I mean. Yeah, here. Um, here's a quick analysis of all the files that we have that we've got in this system. As you see, if you search for for those folders that take more than one gigabyte of space, uh, so yeah, that's my personal folder. So it's not count as. <laughs> and so as you see, the Xcode. This platform folder takes around one gigabyte, then different folders of Xcode, and then simulators folder takes around 30 gigabyte, I think. And if you install some stuff like Unity, Unity takes around 10 gigabytes just for one, uh, just for one version of Unity. For each version, it will take more. Um, so I didn't achieve uh, Unity up and running, as you see those flood platforms folder inside within Xcode uh, app, it takes around 11 gigabytes, and there's no option to delete uh, older simulators when you, since you download those emulators, the simulators, sorry, uh, they are stored in Xcode somewhere not an Xcode app folder, it's another folder. And you cannot control, you cannot manage this space. Uh, so it took around 200, yeah, 200. As you see, it's still available, Eight, uh, 800 gigabytes, 800 gigabytes of space. And so it took around 200. Uh, part of my files, which is less than 100 gigabytes, so 100 is taken by the system, which is not that much actually, but it's kind of huge and it will take more and more after, after you, you install more stuff, yeah? And all those old cache, it, it doesn't remove automatically, so you have to manage those stuff. That's why I recommend you to, to buy one terabyte option and there's some kind of glitches that I found during using of this Mac as a developer. First of all, I couldn't um, make, first of all, the first, um, the first time I could use pod install, I could install Cocoa Pods, but later on something was broken and I couldn't reproduce it anymore. Even by reinstalling a new version of Ruby, Ruby Interpretator, uh, language interpreter, uh, I couldn't make it running. I could install it again from source, the latest version available, but it uh, it couldn't do anything. It could just run a simple comment and I couldn't make it running uh, the normal way. This I tried both uh, x86 version and uh, for brew as well, and it didn't work at all. And so there are some problems that don't work, or there are some problems that that work from time to time, but sometimes they go unstable. For instance, this 3D viewer, scene viewer in Xcode, it's very buggy. And let me show it to you here. It's only one of the uh, one of those bugs that I found. Maybe there are lots of bugs that I didn't find. Here, let me find an example. You just rec you can recreate that uh, 3D scene game, and then after you open this scene file and you try to move it, <laughs> yeah, it's still possible to move. But when you double click on it, and it got stuck. You see, you cannot use it anymore. You have to reopen the project again, and it's black screen after you switch to it. And React also didn't work. You can install it. You can install it. You can even build a node from scratch and you can build all other stuff, but 
you can't really use it. The same for Vue. Uh, Vue.js, you can install it. it. It is basically a working one, but there are some plugins like SASS that don't work. Uh, yeah, and if you don't need those plugins, you can use it. Flutter, it works. It works, really, it works. The only thing that uh, pod install doesn't work from time to time, and even reinstalling the system didn't, <laughs> didn't help because I should maybe remove everything on my hard drive to make it work again. And the first time it worked totally fine. Before and before uh, pods were downloading any version and because of internet issue, it stopped and then I couldn't start from that last place. And maybe because of that, it got corrupted, corrupted somewhere and you couldn't fix it. You cannot fix it uh, by simply reinstalling. Maybe you need to remove whole thing, uh, the whole stuff from your hard drive and then reinstall it and maybe it will work. Who knows? But for me, it didn't work. And what else didn't work? Yeah, Unity basically worked, but Android Studio is a working one. Android Emulator is working a part of WebView. Everything is working, Android emulator, that's thanks for them to make that available. Blender is working, Photoshop was working, not very stable. So iOS apps were working, my own app uh, is working actually on, on this Mac. The same for WeChat, it's an iOS app as well. And Telegram for M1 version, VS Code for M1 version, and that VPN app for one M1 version, what else is working? Well, basically everything is working, but there are some glitches, some bugs that could um, appear. For instance, for Finder, there are a couple of times it got stopped. Like it, it didn't appear any screens, uh, any, I mean, any windows when you click on it and until you reboot it. Or you can log out and log in, it will work again. But till that time, you have to log out and log in to make it work. So it's also kind of strange behavior. And I couldn't even understand. Sometimes you can create some files from command line and they, especially for Big Sur 11.0, 11.0, you can create some, you could create some files and they wouldn't appear here in Finder because it takes some time to make them appear. And if you try to access those files, uh, it's written like the f this file doesn't exist. And later on, they kind of fixed this bug, but I'm not sure how well it's fixed because now it's not like that bad. At least it's better than it was. Yeah, so with Finder, they kind of fixed it. With Xcode, maybe it will take some time before they fixed. Uh, da Vinci is working. Da Vinci is working better than iMovie. iMovie couldn't even uh, create a simple movie with uh, two different. Um, there are two different uh, videos. One was uh, with different frame rate, and it couldn't get exported. Uh, couldn't get exported at all. So I couldn't save that video because every time it reached it, it reached the end. Uh, it showed an error that I couldn't save it, sorry, and without explanation. And there is also a kind of strange bug that I cannot <laughs> really accept. When I'm playing music and background and at the same time I'm running something uh, that takes some... maybe it takes some process, uh, some CPU time, some CPU power, it consumes some CPU power, some, there are some sound glitches, like, <coughs> like cracks. I cannot reproduce it with my tongue, it's hard. But the thing is, you cannot listen to music the time you are using some simulators. And it's kind of weird, it's the weirdest that I heard. And I cannot even reproduce this bug, maybe next time I'll show it to you. Here, uh, there are all bugs that I wanted to describe. I haven't found any other bugs really yet. Maybe I'll find more. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Okay. Bye. Stay tuned.
and that's probably about it okay that's how it looks like just in case you, you didn't know and of course two ports is not enough okay it would be better to have four ports like before but at least for now i only have two ports 